So I've got a rooted uh, Sony Ericsson Xperia X10A and I'm just going to show you the steps on how to root uh, another one. And before I start, I'm just going to use SMS backup to save all the text messages because uh, some people have been having issues with the built-in application. Um, SMS backup is available for free on the market and it saves everything into XML format onto the SD card. So backup SMS messages, save with the name and hit OK. And done. Um, I prefer to connect the USB cable to the computer instead of the phone because it's easier to use. So to start off, um, unzip, all, unzip everything. It's available from XDA forums, the global firmware. And it's a batch file, but I prefer to run it from the command prompt. So X, just make sure Java's installed. This is a Windows 7 32-bit. Uh, I had issues before with 64-bit, so I'm just going to use a 32. So Java is installed, and we're going to use X10 back bit flash. So it's going to prompt us for what what version, and it's Windows 7 32-bit, so number three, and now it's going to tell me to connect in uh, flash mode. Uh, the first time I did this, I had a null pointer exception, and it turns out it didn't like that USB port. So all I did was just switch USB ports. So I'm going to plug this in, hold the back button, and put in the battery. And hit enter. So now it's flashing and you're going to get a whole bunch of prompts as it installs the new software. And Sony Ericsson's uh, PC Companion also popped up. Um, you're going to need this for the second part to root because once you upgrade to uh, 2.1 the drivers change and you need to install PC Companion plus the update uh, to be able to use uh, one-click root or sorry super one-click. And this only takes about uh, two or three minutes. So flashing's finished. And now we're just going to disconnect. So hit OK and disconnect. And just to be safe, pull out the battery. Uh, wait five seconds and put it back in. So the first time um, after you flash, it's going to take a while to boot up. Um, you'll hear, you'll feel the vibrate as it turns on, but just wait for it, and then you'll get this symbol. And it's a camera flashing the phone. So that's going to go on for a few minutes, and then after that, it, the phone's going to restart, and uh, you should have the latest 2.1. And we'll come back after this is done and show you how to install uh, Super One Click.